Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to I Know Go Bridge and uh, Zora's Domain, which is uh, next here in a second. In the last episode, we spoke to Prince Sidon, uh, who says that the ancient beast, nope, the divine beast, uh, is making it rain nonstop here in, Zora, in Zora's Domain. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to really like Zora's Domain with the amount of water. Uh, that's happening here. I just think uh, the best part of nature is the places where water flows through it. That's all I got to say. That's my hot take. It's not a very hot take. It's just like rivers, awesome. Streams, great. Lakes, ponds, awesome. Ocean, also good. Uh, so, anyways, what are we up to in today's episode? I think maybe we... Did I piss this Lizolfos off? I think I did. I think maybe we try and uh, solve this Zora's domain thing. You know, I think we, I think we go up, go uh, up that way for it. Uh, with as long as the path looks, I think it might take a while. So let's just get started. I was thinking about going for the shrine behind me, but I think I'll come back to that one. Um, yeah, our goal is just to follow these little, these little lanterns, and apparently it's going to be quite tough along the way. Uh, or at least there will be some challenges along the way. Let's go ahead and shoot you in the head if we can. A little bit of bullet drop. A little bit of bullet drop. Oh, that's a critical hit. Pop the balloon on the way out. Grab this rock. Grab some rupees. Drop it in that little pond. Done, done, and done. I got 10 arrows from that guy, which is a good thing because I'm probably going to use them. Let me take this stone. Chalk it. All right. What is making that noise? Are you hearing something? Something's making a sketchy noise up there. I'm just hoping that it's not... That it's only up there and not down here, you know? That it's all up there and not related to me at all. Did I hit the... Did I just hit the rock twice in a row? Like, I, I keep hitting the rock out of the air that they shoot. You son of a bitch. All right, well, there go all my arrows. <laughs> there go all of my arrows. Uh, let's use this for now, I guess. Got some zap shrooms. I probably should have taken a... Uh, photo of that for the compendium. Uh, apparently, along the way, we're going to run into some whiz robes. Based on what was said earlier about uh, from from Sedona. Go ahead and loot all this stuff. Oh, not that. Loot all this stuff before we uh, break it with our bomb. Yep. That way, all the loose stuff uh, goes flying in the right direction, uh, or doesn't go flying at all. What do we got? Some apples. A couple apples. Yep. Some arrows. Uh, what else? A shroom. Beautiful. Okay. What else we got up here? Can you see me? Can't tell if you can see me or not. Now you can see me. Oh, that was a bad hit. Uh, oh, the sign is pretty. 
Zora, Zora's domain ahead. That name throws me off a little bit because the like syntax of it makes me think Zora. I think, wait, wait, I think it said Zora apostrophe S, right? Um, which makes me think like Zora is a person and not, I keep thinking I can get this shot off. As long as you shoot it early enough, you can. And not like, like, like Zora plural. Does that make sense? I can't word it very well right now. What I'm trying to say is, uh, it makes me think of like Sarah's domain. But it's possible that the plural for Zora is Zora, in which case it would be like Sarah's plural, then an apostrophe, and that would be the domain of the Sa of the Sarahs. That's also a very oh my god, my writer brain is giving me a headache right now. That's also an imperfect metaphor because one is a name and one is not a name. I think it is, you know, it's like a, a name for a group of a type of people rather than a name of an individual, but anyways, uh, we're getting pretty good at fighting these Octoroks, tell you that much. I already have one. I chuck a rock. I kind of want to get in the water, but I don't. I feel like getting in the water to loot this stuff would be death. Like, I feel like it would just send me downstream so quickly. And maybe it wouldn't, but I don't know if I need these. Uh... These. Oh. These balloons all that much. Now here's something. It appears that there's two ways. There's for the water to stop. Interesting. Why are all of the trees chopped down over here? Can I walk across this? I can also just swim on this side of it. Ooh. Even better. Oh, shoot. I should float this way, right? Oh, I, I actually didn't know if they did float. Apparently, these bombs are less dense than water. So that's incredible. I made it rain. It's already raining, but I made it fucking rain, acorns, arrows. Wow, a mighty cart. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, got lots of silent shrooms. It's almost like they're telling me to be silent. Hey, hey Link. Sorry for calling out to you from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I was not sure you would really come through. I'm pleased things are going well. Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been a lot of monsters around here. Be careful as you proceed. And hurry! All of my fellow Zora are anxiously awaiting your arrival. So that would be uh, plural. All of my fellow humans, my fellow Zora, plural. The domain of Zora and also the domain of humans and also the domain of the human. Anyways, my brain hurts. All right, lots of monsters. They gave me lots of ways to be sneaky, and I'm not being sneaky. Just running. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's fair. But who tossed them at me? Big hearty truffle? Oh, 
Oh, their eyeballs are actually really weird. Ah! Okay, I thought I'd be faster. Their eyeballs, like, dart around in a kind of, kind of eerie way. Oh, hello. You have some food in there. Which honestly sounds delicious. Hmm. Lots of different items over here. See if we can't grab them. Oh, hello. Great place for a headshot. Went directly over your head. There we go. That's a far shot. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, just a little short. Nope, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? If we hit this shot, we're a god. Damn it, we're not a god. Okay, um... My bow is getting weak. Soldier's Claymore. Oh, a fox! Uh, I think we're okay right now. You know what? We'll do this. We'll take the Claymore. I don't really feel like I need to kill these guys, but... You know... What's the worst that could happen? Why not? I'm a terrible person. I hate to just keep using my arrows, but the like... Yeah. <clears throat> but the headshot damage is great. Excuse me, I gotta grab a drink. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, let's do it this way. Ah, the boomerang. Gotcha. Let's take your boomerang because I think they're fun. And go from there. Take this boomerang. Take these herbs. We have some heals, and we should probably use them because I keep getting hit. Couple baked apples later. We're sitting pretty. Eh, a little headshot. Good stuff. Are those some bees? Yes, they are. I'll take your goodie, your goodies, please. Ow. I was gonna tr Wait. Oh, no. Oh, God. Everything's going wrong. Somebody's very mad at me, but I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Panic. Run. Panic. Oh, God. I missed... I don't know what's happening. That was actually a little bit uh, stressful. I kind of landed on him, and then I missed, like, ten shots. All right, we have a Lizzle bow, which would be an upgrade to what I'm currently using. Really? Let's take a look at the... Uh, I don't know what a Lizzle bow... 14. Okay, we like the Phrenic bow, though, because it's... Uh, or whatever it's called. Because... It's uh, got increased ADS ability. You can look further down sites, basically. So that's great. We'll keep that. Another little cave here. It is. And you can actually cook in there as long as you can get the fire between two places. However, it is raining. So you probably...
Ah, uh, you probably have to wait until this is done, right? Like, wait until you've gotten it to stop raining before you can try this. Anyways, somewhere over here, we pissed off a bunch of people. Let's go back here and see if we can't kill those people we pissed off. Uh, okay, there's a rock up on top of this ledge. Somewhere over here, but I don't know exactly where. Yep, there's one in that little guard outpost place. We want to try and kill everyone other than the uh, whiz robe, if possible, I think. Let's go ahead and use this. Because that was an excellent use of it. If we can kill a couple, if we can snipe a couple of them. God, this gun is so good. This gun, this uh, bow and arrow is so good. Then, it's just us and the uh, the beastie. Let's go ahead and hit a save before this happens. I'm scared. All right. Yep. Just go ahead and blow that up. No whiz robe? I thought for sure that would piss people off enough that there would be a whiz rub. Oh, there's a there's a guy over there. Shit. And there it is. Wait, he's shooting? Oh, he's shooting electric arrows. I understand. I thought it was a, a whiz rub. You know, I was getting shot by lightning. I just imagined it was one of those. All right, let's do a little bit of looting. Little bit of looting. We have a big old... I think... Wait, I think we discovered that I can... That I can break these by dropping them, right? Hmm. Okay. Big metal crate, if I drop it from a huge height. There it is. It did drop. We got something interesting. On a more important note, there's something over here that is a question mark? Oh, it's just a cooked crab, I think. <laughs> a blackened crab. A whole crab slow roasted in its shell. The soft, flaky flesh pairs nicely with the scent of the charred shell for a meal that assaults all five of your senses in all the best ways. Love that. Got a singular rupee. It's fantastic. Little bow. I think there was one more thing over here that was still capable of... Yep, right there. Who are you, who are you calling to, buddy? you have another friend? Oh, you do, actually. I really shouldn't be using this bow so much because it's so useful. I should keep it for another day, but... God, is it good. What it lacks in damage, it way it way makes up for. Oh, there is a lack of frames over here. It way makes up for in uh in zoom. The game is really lagging over here. Strange. All right, let's grab these arrows uh, just so that we have them. Fancy shock arrows. And we will get out of this area that keeps making the game look like crap. A couple more rupees. 
Ooh, there's like a fountain of some sort up here. Also this. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that from a great height. Beautiful. Oh, this area is very pretty. These stones are very gorgeous. Okay. It makes me a little bit nervous to go down here, though. I feel like I'm going to get jumped on from above, right? Like there's going to be somebody hiding in wait above me. Doesn't look like it. Yet. Oh, we're going to get the cinematic view. We're going to walk out of this to Zora's domain, right? How close are we? Oh, we're not even close at all. Holy shit. <laughs> cinematic view. Hey! Hey, over here. <clears throat> Sorry for calling from so far away. The domain is still a ways off, but you're making good progress. I shall be along soon myself. I won't be much longer. It won't be much longer. In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on from here in the river. Hang in there. You can do it. Stay strong. God, it is so gloomy and rainy over here. What is that? Oh, it's just a bush. From this distance, I could not tell. Kind of looked like a crab or something. Uh, okay. Well. I continue this way, I'm guessing. What is that? I'm... And, and why does it have one health? It's an electric piece. Okay, not bad at all. I don't know why I took a second picture there. We know keys. They don't scare me. They scare me a little bit. Oh, oh, they should scare me. No. I just now noticed that the game over sign is yellow. Because I got electrocuted? Is that different based on how I died? I feel like it's been red the whole time, right? Oh, maybe it hasn't been. Hmm, you can feel free to answer that in the comments down below. Does it change color based on how you die? Another game that I know does something similar to that. Uh, you're, the way that you, uh, the way that you fail changes the way that you I'm talking about Outer Wilds, but I don't ever want to say anything too much about Outer Wilds, and so I'm just avoiding saying anything at all. Uh, here's an idea. Let's eat two raw apples to get to 100% health, and see what happens if, if that happens again. Just run. Oh, I'm out of stamina, I'm out of stamina, I'm out of stamina. That was dumb, that was dumb. That was a very dumb thing. That was the dumbest thing I've done in a long time. Yo! Oh, we're down to one heart, and we have dropped our sword. It's time to use the potion resistance. Oh. <laughs> and we're dead. All right. Excellent. I was kind of hoping to say, you might be asking, Ryan, why didn't you use the electro elixir? I was kind of hoping to save it because I don't imagine this is the only time that I'll ever fight things with electric attacks. And it sounds like I might still be able to save it if I tried uh, a couple other... Th I, have, I have other thoughts on how we could make this work. For instance, the big one that I'm thinking of is just shooting all of them with my bow and arrow. They only have one health. Not seem like that big of a deal. To shoot them and to kill them. Electric key swing, a rare electric key swing. Part of the electric keys that produces electricity is not in its wings, so it won't shock you. 
Toss it, toss it in with some critters. All right. This seems like the easy, the easiest way to do this. Uh, let's get our sword out of our hand. Nothing metal in our hands. I've been to Even Tide Island. I know how this works. Now, see, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ryan. Jesus Christ. You're right. Ryan, don't you want to don't you want to mine this? Yes, I do, but I'm not going to do it. With my I with my big sledgehammer because I think that would get me killed. All right, a little bit of rock salt. Now that we've been through that, we 100% save. Just to be safe. And... Oh, this lightning's so cool. Oh, look at this bridge. I like their architecture. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Sorry, I probably could have come up with something deeper to say there. I just like their architecture. I think it's neat. Oh, hello. I feel like that's just asking to be blown up, but I think instead what we'll do is we'll do this. Can I roll this downhill? Oh, that's just going to explode. Fuck. Okay. Well. Let's try this. Yeah, now you're aggro. No! You guys are so fucking fast. They're too fast. Too fast for their own good, actually. I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna get hit by that. Too fast for their own good. Alright, there we are. Woo! My plan almost backfired. The moment I was standing up by this, all this exploding stuff, and they started charging me quicker than I could throw my explosive, I was like, oh no, we're in trouble. I've made a serious miscalculation. I think we might be dead. Luckily, none of them threw anything directly at the, uh, at the fire. Or threw anything that would have exploded the thing. The, the barrels is what I meant to say, sorry. Okay. Fire, fire. I think we could sneak up on this guy. Oh, wrong button. Do a little sneak strike. Like the stealthy boy that we are. Hey, you're dead. Don't fall headfirst into the fire. Also, we got some food. Super huge. I feel like I am really... This is an interesting area for the game. I feel like I'm really stuck to a narrow path once you start this, this path because of the rain. Uh, and the fact that I can't really climb means that I can't really clean, climb very successfully during the rain. Means that I'm kind of stuck this way. Uh, following this narrow path through the mountains. I could have swore we saw like a quail or something earlier. I'm keeping an eye out for a new type of bird. Ooh. Hey, guess who it is? 
Hey, Link, it's me, Sidon, the prince. You're almost halfway. <laughs> oh, Lord, I thought we were almost there. By the way, there are a few spots up ahead with lots of enemies. I'm sure you'll be fine. I believe in you, Link. Good, thanks. I actually do like Sidon. I just, uh, I thought we were closer than almost halfway. That looked like that was going to work. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, ice arrows. Thank you. The question is how the F I get this one. I could probably swim over, right? Arrow times five. We're getting there. I'm so happy with the amount of arrows that we have now. Beautiful. Although I have been using them a bunch recently. So how many? 77. That's huge. Uh, there's no way we've had more than that during this game so far. So many. Hello. The bow durability is going to be the real problem. Ah! <laughs> They're just so fast. They're so fast. All right. Do a little bit of mining. I didn't see that thing there. For exploding. that out of the way so that I can blow it up normal style. Stop blowing myself up. That's the wrong way. That's didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right. I'm liking this Zora's Domain area so far. I hope you're enjoying the uh, the episode so far. It's it's kind of I haven't really I didn't really finish this thought earlier. I was gonna say it's kind of nice to be stuck in a linear way. Um, doesn't mean there aren't secrets. Like I'm kind of wondering if there isn't some secret right down there on this little pathway underneath us. Secrets or fun to be had by, you know, doing your own thing, going off to the side a little bit, but. Oh, okay. So that's going to be a problem. Does it have to do with this area? No? Yeah. Oh no, am I in trouble here? Uh oh. It's raining, I don't know if this is gonna work. Alright, alright, alright. You slide a little bit further than you... No, you slide about the same distance. Okay. But if you jump, you don't slide quite as far. But here's my thought. Sorry, the thing I just said made absolutely no sense. Here's my thought. Let's put on our, our climbing faster stuff. I think you slide a little bit less far than you go. So I think it's possible to, to, to make up some distance, especially, this is probably really funny because you probably know the answer to whether or not you can actually still make progress during the rain. But it kind of looks like I can, it kind of looks like I can make that. 
Like, if I just time it correctly, right as I'm about to slide, I jump. I did make it. Hell yeah. I'm fucking proud of that. Let's go. Uh, now, the real problem is I don't know what to do here because it looks like I was kind of blocked off by... Ooh, maybe I needed to mag magnesis this. I thought uh, the game was saying, hey, you can't go this way. Probably stasis it. Um, try something different. Try a different route. And instead, the game was saying, try something different. I didn't want to use that weapon, but that's why I was hesitating there. There it is. Oh, shit. That's all right. Nice. Hello, friend. Take that. Take that. Zora Spear. Ooh, our first Zora weapon. We'll have to see how this looks. I like the blue. Blue is my favorite color, so the Zora uh, style appeals to me. Spear is a Zora's weapon of choice. It's lighter than it looks due to being made from a special metal. It's used by the Zora for both fishing and protecting their domain. Okay. I wonder if I can break if I can break these. There's a couple. Let's see here. Decent shots. That's a bad shot. A bad shot too. But they all went over into the same area. If I can't hit a headshot there. It wasn't a headshot, but it did kill him. Do, do, do. Hey, I've seen a lot of comments about... Uh, why I don't use the uh, the uh, tilt about the whatever it's called. Um, I'm just not particularly comfortable using it for now. Uh, I may use it in the future. Um, for now, I liked it better without. I may I may use it in the future. We'll see. I'm not I'm not uh, not using it in order to like miss out on it. <laughs> I'm just I just just a comfort thing for me. Uh, I've seen. Thanks for all the comments being like, hey, you should maybe turn that back on. Uh, might be super useful to you. It might. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm loving how I'm feeling so far with the controller, anyways. So, how, how I'm feeling as is. Uh. So. Thanks for being patient with my aim. <laughs> oh shit. Wait. That's a different color, Lizalfos. That guy's probably super strong. Hmm. Shit. He hit me for a lot. I don't know how much health I had, though. Maybe only three or so? I don't know. Okay. Good news. Yep. That didn't work. Good news. Uh, We're not that far away. Yep. Okay, I want to take you guys on one at a time. So I'm going to start. That sucks. That sucks. I want to start going around the corner. Oh! It's got such a big area of effect. That's cool, actually. I'm upset because I'm dead, but I'm, I'm happy because that's really cool. Such a big area of effect. Okay. We'll reconsider. I don't need to I don't need to loot. Let me just shoot first. Let me do a uh, little bit of phrenic bow practice right here. 
That went over his head. Yay! Uh... I want to try and get a little bit away from them so that we have more space. To one-on-one -on -one these guys. Excellent. Uh, there's one dead. Let's go ahead and eat a... One of these nasty-ass crabs. Great shot. That's the big guy, but we want to get rid of the arrow guys first. The, air, the arrow guys. Those are called archers, by the way. That was a hell of a shot. <laughs> you just scared the shit out of me. Okay, all right. Uh, let's put a good weapon on. Come on, get ready. It's time, time to shine here. There it is. Get wrecked, my friend. Shit weapon, but he doesn't have one, so we kill him. Let's go. We frostbeard him to freeze him. We got in a couple extra attacks. Once he dropped his uh, weapon, we were we were fine. A reinforced Lizzle shield. It's been strengthened by adding a different type of metal to the mix. Uh, I'll take that. Sure, I'll, I'll drop some stuff. I'll drop my shield of the mind's eye. As much as I like it. The design on the shield of the mind's eye. Okay, should be one more. And frankly, I think I'm not going to shoot because I think we are... Uh, we're fine. We just have to be careful as we go, as we approach that we don't get shocked twice. We have a good amount of distance though. I think we could sneak up on the side here and not be seen. Okay. Go ahead and take a shot here. I, you, you, he crouched. Mother. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, poke your head up. Ooh, we don't have the right clothes on, which explains why we aren't seeing health. And I didn't mean to shoot there. There we go. All right. Cool. We made it. Oh, we're not going to get through Zora's domain today, are we? Holy shit. I thought we might, uh, but this is... Uh... We could maybe do it. We'll see. If we don't, that's fine. We uh, have more for tomorrow. Oh my god, there's more of them up here. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's a million frogs here. Oh my god. Are they... Are the Lizolfos keeping you here? In a pond? To eat? Probably. Okay, there's two of them here. Let's go ahead and save. Woo! We got some tough, com tough combat going on here. Use the phrenic bow as much as I don't want to because a headshot here. Oh, God. <laughs> then we switch. Nope. Then, nope. Then, nope. Then we switch. There we go. No, 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 no. Hush. You don't see anything. Don't use an arrow. Don't you dare use an arrow. Okay. Whew, we did it. All right. 
I think those are the only two up here. Soldiers claim more. I'm full on items anyways. Uh, I could drop something though. I feel all right with where we're at right now. That's an octo balloon. Some explosives. I wish I would have noticed those earlier. Drop them over here so that if they explode, we don't uh, accidentally hit these barrels, these explode, these, these dynamite barrels. Oops, that was not very high. Didn't lift that one up in the air very high. Oh yeah, we're making rupees. That one had a whole two rupees inside of it. But that one had a blue and a red. Hell yeah, we're rich. All right, cool. Oh my God, there's a chest here. I didn't even pay attention. I didn't see that. And there's more. And there's more of this. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm kind of saving up for right now. Uh, for money. I'm, I'm saving my money up for right now. Um, I really like the idea of upgrading some items with the fairy fountain and maybe buying the stealth, uh, upgrading some clothes and maybe buying the, uh, the stealth set from, uh, that town where Impa lives. What's the name of that town? You know, the town. What's that sound? What's that sound? Oh, okay. No big deal. No big deal. You can shoot him out of the water. Oh, Lord. Wrong button. You can shoot him while they're still in the water. That's such good news. I did not realize that before. Uh, yeah. I kind of like the idea of having this stealth outfit. I think it could be fun. And I'm getting to the point where I really like the clothes. A volt fin trout. Trout makes its home in the freshwater lakes. Its scales have an insulating compound that when cooked into a dip, dish offer resistance to electricity. Interesting. Interesting. I kind of just came this way because I wanted to see what was up here. Uh, I saw there was a pond over here. I wanted to see if anything interesting lived at the pond, and it turns out a volt fin does. There's also more mining over here, though. Some amber. Waves of grain. Nice. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't remember how much stuff cost to upgrade at the Fairy Fountain, though, so I am kind of thinking, like, I'm going to need a bunch of money, but I don't remember how much I need. I feel like it was 100 rupees for my first upgrade. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I feel like it was 100. 100. Um, <clears throat> I might be wrong. 100 would not be bad, honestly. But I'm guessing you're going to want to upgrade things a couple times. So that will probably add up over time. All right. From here, there appear to be other ways around. There's that. There's whatever this route is. But I think we're going to go on this uh, this bridge. Luto's Crossing. Sure. I hope nothing bad happens while we're on it. God, this blue is beautiful. It's like in the way it moves. The light through it. Wow. Oh. Like stained glass, sort of.
I figured Sedona was going to yell at me halfway across this thing. <gasps> Ooh! Uh. Wow! There's something orange there. Is that a shrine? I can't tell. Looks like a chest, maybe. <laughs> this game is... Hey! Hey, there you are! This game is so gray in the rain. It's so gray. It's impossible to see anything. Look below, down here. Oh, hey, Stone. Still pretty far off, my friend. I'm sure you'd be passing over this bridge, so I've been waiting for you. You'll be in Zora's domain before you know it. I'm gonna head that way too. I'll meet you there. Whoa, Link. Beware, warrior. A monster approaches from behind you. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ah! Just run. Just run. Just run the whole time. Just run. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong button. That's the wrong. I'm trying to switch buttons. Switch weapons. Ah! First off, get me out of this, out of this, uh, this bush. Yee! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. We go ahead and eat here. Let's go ahead and eat something. It'll be fine. I'll be fine, it's just I need to eat something. <laughs> Two quick hits. There it is. There it is. All right. Sedone's like, yo, watch out, right behind you. Oh, sorry, dude, I wasn't paying attention. I can't wait to see this place when it's no longer raining, question mark? It kind of looks like, uh, it sounds like we'll be able to once it, uh... Once we deal with the Divine Beast. I don't exactly know what that means. The Divine Beast is making it rain. The way I think of the Divine Beasts is that they're basically machines, right? Like, I'm thinking, like, enormous, uh, machines shaped like beasts. But maybe they're more magical than that. Come on, from a great height. I almost landed on my head. There it is. One singular green rupee. Love to see it. A mountain doe. That'd be a really pretty picture if it wasn't every, every if everything wasn't so fucking gray. Ow! What the hell? A deer running you down? I just thought you'd be scared of me. Wow, what is that? I can't really see. Is that a dam? <gasps> That's a dam. Brutala dam. We're definitely going there. Shit, that's the wrong button. Remove this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's deep. Okay. Keep going this way. Zora's domain. Here we come. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, here we go. Final fight of the episode. I think after this, we're going to have to call it one, so wish me luck here. Wish me luck. Do some real damage. Just don't let them shoot. Don't let them do anything. Oh, fuck. 
No, we're dead. I dropped my bow. I dropped my bow. And we have no health. One more shot. One more shot. One more shot. Make it a good one. Oh, God. We're, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. Oh, buddy. I feel like you have to be aggressive versus these guys because they just... No, oh, I broke my bow. That'll do it. Woo! If they hit you, then it's all over kind of deal, you know? You have anything to drop? No. All right. Sweet. Look at me. I'm getting kind of used to this... Uh... R to, R to chuck things kind of idea. You know what? Hold up. I saw one of these earlier. Are these signs? Wait a second. Are these signs that I just never... Oh my god, they are. Oh, I feel like such a dummy. I didn't read the one earlier. History of the Zora, Addendum 1. King Dorafan stands his ground. Oh, no. Listen, I have to do this. I have to do this my own way. Oh, how many did I miss? Oh, I hope I didn't miss that many. Shoot, I was going to go look them up. Or, like, I was going to go all the way back and restart. But that would be crazy. We've, we've come so far. Okay. Oh, crap. I love reading in games. I can't believe I missed it. Oh, I feel so... I'm not even I'm not even disappointed because I like I'm not disappointed because I missed it for the video. I'm disappointed because I missed it for me. I love reading stuff in games. Damn it. Alright, we'll read what we have here. If you want to if you want to tell me what the first one said. Uh I'm trying to think how to do that. That would probably be a little bit annoying for you guys to type it all up. Uh I'm guessing it's a. I'm guessing it would be not that hard to look up, but I'm nervous about spoilers. History of the Zora. Uh, signs. Breath of the Wild. Zora Stone Monuments. I'm nervous. I don't want to click on buttons that tell me about things that that I don't. I haven't seen yet. Oh, okay. Here, here we go. Here we go. Aha! Okay, I found it. West of Ludo's Bridge. Ludo's Crossing. Wait, is that the thing? One second. I think I found the first one. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm nervous because I'm nervous because I don't want to see anything, but Ludo's Crossing was Yeah, it's right here. The History of Zora Part 1 is a stone monument that could be found west of Ludo's Crossing. Um, there's a side quest. I didn't know not know that. That's not that far, though. If it's just, like, right here. I think it was right here, actually. All right, welcome to a slightly longer episode. We're just going to go find it. If I can go back and find it, I'm just going to go back and find it. Closing the webpage. I hate looking stuff up during blind playthroughs. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I can't believe I missed reading something. In hindsight, it's so obvious. Definitely something to read. To make sure that you guys don't have to uh, sit here and uh, wait for too long, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to cut a quick, uh, a quick break until I go back to that sign. So BRB. There we are. I'm pretty sure this is the first one. I think this is the first one that I saw. Yep, this is the one. Okay. Part one. History of the Zora. Part one. The eternal Zora's domain, as told by King Dorifon. The rains have blessed Lanairu since ancient times with an abundance of pure, clean water. Seeking a bounty of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The land was also rich in ore, and so was a unique, sorry, and so a unique form of stone masonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feat of architecture that has drawn admirers the world over. Our great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artists who made it an eternal symbol of Zora pride. 
Incredible. All one sculpture, a specific kind of stone masonry. And they came here because of the abundance of water. Of pure, clean water. So we're getting the vibe of Zora as, like, uh, in tune with nature, uh, celebrating nature, worshipping nature a little bit, maybe, potentially. Um, yeah. And also, the artistry of the of the sculpturing and, and, and the artistry of nature is important to them, too. Sweet. I'm going to go run back up to that other sign. I hope that I didn't miss another one. I think that has to be the first one that I saw, right? I hope I didn't miss another one before that. Addendum 1. King Dorofin stands his ground. Around 100 years after King Dorofin ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed Upland Zorana into our domain. The guardian seemed un unstoppable. Our best soldier's spears barely left a scratch on its metal hull. It was then that our King Dorofin, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the guardian and hurled it into a ravine. The impact of the fall left the guardian in pieces, and it was never to trouble another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the king's valor. From then on, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned that day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. Interesting. Can you see the Zora? Tossed into the abyss. Oh my god, this is getting to be so cool. I can't wait to go down there. But, that's going to have to wait for another episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm so happy I found these signs so that I don't uh, miss anything. I, I mean, it's this should be obvious, right? Based on the amount of books behind me and... And etc. But like, I love nothing more in video games than doing the reading. Give me video game homework. Let me read, and I'm I'll be a happy camper. Uh, this game has not had a ton of reading so far, and so when it op presents me an opportunity to uh, to read, you better believe I'm gonna take that shit. Also, I'm getting rich over here. I love that these are all having rupees inside of them. Oh, big fan. No, come back, come back, come back. Oh, shit. Oh, that one's gone. Oh, it broke. Broke all the way down here. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I say that every episode, but I also mean it every episode. I'm having a great time. I hope you are, too. Hey, we're pretty close to the tears of the, uh, of the, tears of the kingdom coming out. <laughs> you know, TTO... TK, the tears of the kingdom. Um, we're pretty close to it coming out. In case I haven't, uh, in case you haven't heard already, I'm not gonna be uh, watching the trailer or watching any gameplay for that game. If you would avoid telling uh, me or anyone else in the comments anything about the game, that would probably be great. I don't know. Uh, we we want to respect people's wishes about whether or not they want any information about the game. I don't know if we'll play it right away. I imagine we'll play it eventually. I don't think I'm going to be done with this game by then, uh, based on current uh, pacing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the game is, is almost done. I don't think we've even begun to touch the, the start of this game. Uh, but uh, I figured I would say something about that since I haven't, uh, since I haven't said anything yet. My brain's a little scatterbrained today. That's going to have to do it for our outro. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.